Peace. We honor and respect the masters that came before us and strive to follow in their example. Honesty to myself and others at all times. Humility in thought, words, and deeds of those above and beneath me. Patience. I will put the needs of others before that of my own. Sincerity. I will fear only my lack of sincerity. I am in the love of all and all love is in me. I am a part of all and all is a part of me. I am one with all and all is one with me. I can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. I can be all that I wish in all as long as my wish is to stay in all. I am never alone. All is, I am. All can, I can. All does, I do. It's Tanje Ilaku. This is going to be interesting right here. Uh, if you ever dated a married... If you ever dated a married man and you knew he was married or wasn't married, you should share this video. If you know somebody who's ever dated a married man, whether they knew he was married or not, you should share this video. If you... Yeah, like that's just the basics. So if you had a baby by a married man, if you would never consider dating a married man this is a video for you too yeah mm -hmm. I'm Coach Kyrie Team Taurus and I want to talk about open relationships <laughs> married men yeah there's so many people wanting to do open relationships I've seen people build entire companies and marketing campaigns off of let's have an open relationship. Mr. Server, salute. This was good too because I'm black. Some people think I'm in the conscious community. Some people think I used to roll with the hoteps. Earlier today I made a video about um, astrology versus African spirituality. And then, so now I'm talking, because in those communities, African spirituality, there is a lot of poly going on and it's normally polygamous. But I got to talk about open relationships today. Open relationships and women dating married men. A lot of women probably won't watch this video because they are like, oh, if, if somebody sees me on here, if you dating a married man, there's 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 there's, there's, there's kind of a couple ways it happens. You're dating a married man, and it's not an open relationship because you never heard of an open relationship. You're just dating a married man, and you know he's married. His wife might not know about you. Then there's uh, dating a married man. And his wife does know. And she like, whatever. Then there's the quote unquote open relationship where it's open and honest. Or a couple open up their marriage and say, let's open our marriage up so one person can, you know, you can date other people and I can date other people because we're married. Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Are, did you share this video yet? Press two if you shared this video. Because you are here for a reason if you saw open relationships and dating married men. Yeah. It's a lot of women dating married men. I talked to one today, earlier, hours ago. And I was almost distraught because she thought what she was doing was super typical. She wanted to know, like, should she get an astrology reading to know whether she should stay with him or not? You don't need no astrology reading to tell whether you need to stay with somebody in an open relationship, closed relationship, or nothing. So I didn't give her no open. I didn't give her a uh, 
I didn't give her an astrology reading. I didn't suggest an astrology reading. I told her something for free. I said, you need to cut the relationship and the person coaching you in the relationship who let you get this far out of pocket. Yeah. Kazembe. Woo. Salute, Lord Vesper. This one is big right here because the problem is when there's a lack of integrity. Can I get everybody to type lack of integrity? You can't have an open relationship with lack of integrity. If you, what up team, team uh, Cleveland, Ohio, team Capricorn, what up Andrea? Let's take it from the top. Open relationship means open and honest, not multiple partners. See, there's, you know, cheating, then there's poly, then there's open relationship. And a lot of people from the outside blend them all together. But now nah, cheating is over here, which I really don't believe in. But if anybody's going to say something about cheating, it's from a married couple. But even if you're married, you don't own that person. But there's probably some deception going on, right? And earlier today, I heard about a story, a one-sided story of a woman dating a man who's married and then she got a coach telling her, well, why don't you get the man to see if he's open to open relating? But the wife don't know and he don't want to tell the wife. He doesn't want to tell the wife that he's dating the woman on the side. And he ain't going to tell the wife. See, there's a lack of integrity all the way around. There's a lack of integrity in the woman dating this cat. Lack of integrity for herself. Then the husband she's dating, who's not her husband, he got a lack of integrity because of the tons of crap that was going on in the convo. And then he got a double dose of lack of integrity. He, he got a double dose because he lacks integrity with himself, with his primary partner and his secondary partner. Bruh, if you're going to have, you're going to be in a relationship with multiple people, and this is men or women, you need to have an integrity got to be at the top of the list. Integrity got to be at the top of the list. You have no idea how many people came to me when I used to work with Juju Mama over at jujumama.com with Kenya and Rakim, and the women would come to me and say, I want to introduce the philosophy or the ideal of open relating to my husband. I seen it go majorly wrong, majorly wrong. Oh, I'm going, I'm going ham this evening on this one right here. Please share the video. Press two if you shared. We're not gonna get a lot of views on this one because the married women or the, or the women messing with married men, they really can't watch this one live because they may think that. Well, you know, somebody may think I was messing with a married man. I'm not gonna ask you if you was messing with a married man. I don't care. This just to get it off my chest. Cause this is how I'm feeling today because it's some predator men out here, ladies. And you are worthy. I don't care if you date a married man, but don't date a married man because you need fulfillment for your own self. That's a lie. You you want to be you want to replace her. You don't really want to get into no co-wife situation. I just got finished talking to Ty Phoenix and she went blank bananas on it, but she said she didn't want to come on here because the way she was carrying, not, not carrying on, but the truth that she was telling, she was like, people don't think I'm out. And I just told her, I was like, yo, these facts. So, and she was kicking some real facts. Married men attract a lot of women on the side because they got that ring on. And they attract this man because women want to see proof that you can support. So this woman who I was talking to earlier today, in between videos, she says, Hey, I was about to leave him because he couldn't like be all that I wanted in the relationship. How can you threaten a married man that you're going to leave him and you're not married to him? She's threatening to leave him, and then he, he says, don't leave. I'm going to work on opening up more. But I can't tell my wife about you, and nobody can know that we're in a relationship. And he won't pay no bills. 
Most married men who got somebody on the side, they're breaking a little, you know, breaking off some paper. Not this case. I was distraught at the coach. I predator coaches out here once again. Predators out here again getting people for their money and giving them the wackest of guidance to let you spend all of your time on someone totally unavailable who gives not zero Fs about you. Does anybody know anybody whose uh, other relationship was a married man dating a woman or a woman dating a married man? Press zero of that if you've never heard of that. I'm talking about know it personally. Like either your friend or maybe you was like, hey, I'm just dating this married man. And no, if you, if you don't know anybody that's ever done that. And open relationships, man. Why can't people be honest? This is why I say I don't believe in cheating. You only going to do what's in your chart. You only going to do what's in your chart. You ain't going to do nothing else. Don't tell me my comments are off. I'm not seeing any comments. Boy, what a look how look at the look at the look at the web. Look at the web we weave right now. Ah. Okay. Complete open honesty from all parties or nothing at all. Why won't why why won't people insist on this? Because you already man sharing already. What's the man going to lie for? What's she going to do? You know how many women say, I'm not going for it. And then they man do it anyway. And then she still stay. She choose to be monogamous in a relationship with a man who says, that's your choice. I'm going to go ahead and do what I want to do. How is it that you ever at a position where you think you ain't got options like that? I'm not even talking about the wife this time. I'm talking about the lady on the side. How is it that you could be with a man who's so inconsiderate of you? Right? He's married to somebody else. If he ain't considerate of you, why would you want to be with him? Why would you want to be in a co-wife situation? Or even in a replace her situation? So then he'll do you like he'll do you like he's doing her now. Open means honest. Can I get somebody to type that? Open means honest. If you're not honest in a relationship, you practice it. And you can practice in open monogamy. You can be monogamous with one partner and tell the truth. And it still be an open relationship. Me, I'm in a happy relationship. That's all I do. I don't do polygamous. I don't do poly. I don't do nothing. I don't do no mono. No nothing. All I do is what makes me happy. And that's what everybody should focus on. If you're going to have multiple partners, whether it's friends on the phone, exes that you still talk to, whether it's uh, sexual partners and you are intimate, keep it 1,000. That's what makes a man. That's what makes a real man, a real person. Open means honest, not multiple. It doesn't mean you got a lot of... I'm going to practice open relationship. Well, we should have been practicing open relationship when I first met you and shook, shook your hand and was like, peace. My name is Kyrie, Team Taurus. I broke away from the progressive love movement because of this whole karma issue. Because I can't be dealing with something that I am saying I can, I'm going to stand behind, but people have lack of integrity and say, well, you're going to go and use it. And they're going to, they have lack of integrity, and then they're using this science that I'm teaching, then that karma is going to come back on me. Whatever you teaching to somebody, there's some karma surrounding it to the people that you're teaching it to. So like me, I got a lot of integrity with my astrology course. 
I got a lot of astrology with my clients. Every client that I have, I have a recording of their reading. Not one has ever, ever, ever left the vault. Not one. Not one. I'm talking about for like five, six years straight. Not one. I pay $10 a month, every month, to make sure everything stays safe. Way over there where it's at. Yep. I appreciate the fundamentals of progressive love over there at Juju Mama. But when, when you stop being responsible and accountable for recognizing really deep set issues, then I can't I cannot I can't rock with it no more. What up what up true? And today I saw that. I agree with no victims, no villains, no cop outs, no dropouts. No blame, no shame. We're all growing. I get the gender roles, the gender harmonics. I got all of that. All of that's a wonderful system. But once you lose integrity, you lost me. Because you got to you gotta really fact check stuff. The ratio of men to women is not extreme. You, as soon as I said fact check, she comes up and said the ratio of men to women is extreme. No, it's 50-50. There's enough men out here to go around and there's enough women out here to go around. It's the guys, it's the, it's the different type of men that you want that's extreme. It's not men to women. It's men to kings is extreme. There's a, only a few kings out here. There's a whole lot of men out here, but the ones that you want are really good dudes. The really good dudes, they are at a very, very prime like me. Rashid on here. It's a lot of it's, it's but it's still a lot of us. But it's a lot of the women don't want to step up their level. They want to settle. But they want to settle for a bum or for a court gesture and then expect him to pretend like he's a king. And have this romantic relationship with him and surrounding surrounding you and all of these things when you could just have a king off the gate. Even less gods. Right. So let's go, let's go through the process. I always there's three types of men out here. For those of you who've never seen this demonstration, there's a court gesture which makes up 90. What is that? There's three, three percent. So that means ninety-seven. Ninety percent of the men I hear court gestures. Hey Nicole, ninety percent of the men I hear court gestures. Seven percent are princes, and three percent are kings. And then you got the elite, elite gods. You know, less less than one percent. So some of y'all be shooting for the gods. That's okay. Some of y'all want the king, but you don't deserve the king. You deserve the court gesture. You deserve the prince. But if you start looking and saying the ratio is always even, because like the, the court gestures will be pretending, there's an equal ratio for women who be pretending. The court gestures who out here got low value and low self-esteem, there's an equal amount of women to match up to them. The princes who got royal blood, who already needed just a little more effort for them to be on the crown and be a king or a queen, but they still pretending to when I am making babies and not being responsible, and but never, never will, never will head up a kingdom. They're equally proportioned too. Seven percent men, seven percent women. There's three percent kings, three percent queens. That's that. But a lot of the 90% women who be pretending, they act like they want a king. I want a king, but you know, I just pretend. Well, you can't just pretend and get a king. Just like the court gesture, <coughs> he can pretend all he want, but he'll never get a queen. He'll never get a queen. Cause she 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 already she already know how to block, defend, or she can just zap him with some magic and be like zzz. 
I used to be, I done ran through court gesture. I done ran through the print stage and now I'm at the king stage. I can't go backwards. And I'm God stage. Because I'm responsible. God is one who's responsible. So when you dating these guys, saying it's an open relationship, you should say, are you honest with your other partner other than me? But you should also ask them, are you going to be responsible for what goes down in this relationship? If they say no, then y'all down in the court gesture part. Y'all just having fun. If you just want to have fun, man, that's okay. That's okay. I can't be in a relationship with every person that I am attracted to. I cannot. I can't even have fun with all of them. I might have fun with one or two. But if you're looking for a serious relationship with a serious responsibility, then you got to ask about it. You got to ask, what is this open relationship about? Is it based around honesty and integrity, not multiple? A lot of y'all watching this right now, you are saying, oh no, he don't need nobody but me. I'm, he gonna be with me exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. And he out here doing something with somebody else. I'ma kill him. I'ma kill her. Woo, 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 woo. I done said this a million times. What people do is in their chart. Trust what they show you. If you knew their chart, then you would get it. What they mean, top fingers was that finish talking about. We sick and tired of all you coaches out here. Trying to do relationships or metaphysics or healing, but you won't go study astrology. Where's your be honest and be like, yo, I'm a coach you, but I'm lacking in a, a, a very important area. Like I really don't know how to tell your blueprint, but I'm gonna just listen to you and then give you some opinions that you paid me for. I'm gonna give you some opinions that you paid me for. That's gonna make you feel better. They called me and was like, yo. I'm trying to see if I should get a reading to see if I should stay with this person or not. And then they told me all the things that happened with the person. And I was like, F-O-H. You need to cut them and the coach that you got over there from Progressive Love and Juju Mom. Kenya wasn't their coach. Rakim wasn't their coach. But you're trying to tell me this person knew about your relationship. The coach knew about your relationship that was unfulfilling Not honest, and you, you you stayed right there. What up, Mike Little? How you doing, Lord? How? Our desires. Check your desires and get you some self-discipline. Trade some of your desires in for some discipline. Carmen said, that's what I was waiting to hear. You can have... You can just have a little fun, sex. I'm no longer interested in relationships. That's not open. Hey, are you interested in a relationship with me? Fun could turn into a relationship. Yep. A relationship could fall back to fun. Or both of them could go into nothingness. But why jerk over somebody? My whole premise is when you are in a relationship, are you making the other person better for their next relationship? If I'm married and I got a chick on the side, I should be getting her ready for marriage if she ain't coming into our family. If I'm the chick on the side and I'm dealing with a dude that's married, I should make his marriage stronger. If I'm single and I'm talking to you, whoever you are, I should be making you ready for your next I should make you in a better shape for your next relationship. You should be making me in a better shape for my next relationship. And we may stay together for 20 years, 20 months, or 20 minutes, 20 days. But are you adding champagne to my campaign? I'm adding champagne to your campaign. An open relationship. All relationships should be adding champagne to the campaign. It's what it's called a relationship. It's not called a one-way street. Yep. Healers. I'm, I'm, I, I, that whole part. Astrologers. All right. Healers recommend astrologers with high integrity to your clients. 
I thought that when I opened up my course, all the healers would be running over to learn astrology so they could add it to their coaching. They don't care. They think they got it, then they can just listen to you and your mental condition. Sometimes even coaching ain't enough. Sometimes you got to go to a psychologist or a psychiatrist and say, what is it about me that this person is only interested in me when my legs are open or I'm digging in my wallet? What is it in me that, you know, I, I feel that I'm only good when I got my legs open and they're coming and, and they're coming at me? Or I got my wallet out and they're coming at me? Sometimes you need more than just some coaching. Well, team Birmingham, I see you, Team Cancer. Peace, peace. Miss Heru Bay. Oh, man. Progressive love. What is prog progressive love originally, when I was with Juju Mama, was about progressing from the old definition of love, of ownership. Love doesn't mean ownership. I fully, fully embrace that. But the book Sex Before Dawn does not entitle every, uh, all people that we're supposed to be poly. Natasha Williams, love you. See, when you, I talked about earlier, knowledge of self versus ritual. Knowledge of self is always going to be, knowledge of self and who you are and what you're capable of and what you will do is always going to take you to the next level. But when there's been so much confusion and then you try to come in and say, let's be an open relationship. And it's always going to be the woman first. Or nine times out of ten, the woman is going to come and she's going to suggest it. Because she's very frustrated with you and in her mind she's already checked out. She's already checked out already in her mind. I got Venus in 12th in the Libra. Oh, I'm within well in Libra. Relationships are very important to you, Carmen, but you do secret relationships. Yeah, you got Venus in, in Libra in the 12th. Secret relationships. And you a Scorpio rising. So you vindictive when somebody does you wrong. I get it. But you still got Libra in the 12th. So relationships will be your downfall. So you can't avoid relationships. You still have to learn to do it properly. I can't avoid my 12th house. I can't avoid Leo. What are you talking about? I got to get my pride in check. I know what's going on. I, you just you just read it to me in your chart. I'm I'm absolutely clear of what's happening. Hey, Miss Enchantress, how you doing today? Press two if you share this video, cause somebody needs it. Cause there's some women out here dating married men, all wrong. I do not promote dealing with married people. Okay. okay. Like, it's a whole lot. Michael Dean in the building. What up, Lord? Philadelphia Eagles all the way to the top. That's my team this year. Always have been. If you, if if a person is married and you out here dealing with them, you really can't say nothing about nothing that they do because you are coming in to a legal situation that is that you're illegal too, unless it's agreed upon by all the parties involved. But people, I, I keep telling you, what is it about married men that make them so attractive to you, ladies? Because he already holding the household down. These bums out here in the street, these single guys, you don't want to make your own family. You want to join one, or you want to come in and replace her. Which, which is okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't care because most of the time when the man is stepping out and he's married and he got another chick on the side, he wants to replace the main wife. He going and that's how and that's how he gonna switch up relationships. He going he got he had babies with her. Now he tired of her. He ready to go. He got another chick on the side. He want her to come in and replace. Renew it for a little while. He didn't fix what 
was the issue in the relationship in the first place. And now he's back jammed up with the second chick who done replaced the wife. Now she got a baby. But you know, the first wife put child support on you. So then what? What up, Tiffany? The second wife, they're not working together. She's talking about, why don't you just leave us alone? Why should she? She was there first. You came in. And the household wasn't happy in the first place. But here's the main mistake most women do when they're dealing with a married man. Ladies, I'm trying to give you some game right here. You believe everything he's telling you about his wife. She ain't doing this for me. She ain't doing that for me. And you like, oh, I can do that. I can do those things for you that she's not doing. And then you can do those things for that for me that you were doing for her that she's not appreciating. I'll do it. I'll trade it for you. See, that's not unconditional love. There's nothing open about that. A lot of deception involved in that right there. Yeah. A lot of y'all are deceivers. A lot of you women out here are deceivers. A lot of you men out here are deceivers. Oh my God. Predators. It's a lot of predators out here meeting each other. Some of them married, some of them not. That's why I'm that, that's why I'm so indifferent about it. It's not that not not that women need to talk more, because if the wife lied to get the man what can you get from her if she's lying if she's been lying for 12 years in the situation <clears throat> that she's only she married for security she ain't leaving because she wants the security but she gonna lie about it and say i love him talking to her what's that gonna get you they ain't gonna get you nothing that's why i told y'all y'all better learn how to navigate these relationships I'm teaching a course for the ladies. Yeah, how to navigate relationships and win. How to have the unfair advantage. Because y'all out here picking these bozos, married and single. It's double up when you get a married bozo, though. You got somebody else's problems. She don't even want them. You've been dealing with somebody for a whole year and he ain't get caught. She ain't looking. She don't care. Pray with one another, not on one another. Can you get with somebody who you can pray with? I said yesterday, and this is funny how all this has come up today, and I just said this yesterday. Can I talk to your last five partners? If you can if you don't want if you don't want your new person to talk to your last five partners. That means you didn't do all you could to get them ready for the next relationship. I'm just saying. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to go over here on Instagram. I want to talk about this over there before it get too late. I got to. Anybody got any questions or want to come in? Come on, come on here and make a comment before I leave. Any of you ladies want to come on here and make a comment? Any of you gentlemen want to come on here? Don't come on here and do a bunch of confessions. I'm not asking for confessions. But if something was helpful, please type what was helpful. And then on a scale of 1 to 10, how useful was this information? And what are you going to take from this conversation and use tomorrow? Oh, my last piece. Watch out on these predator coaches too. Watch out on these predator coaches where your situation ain't got no better in 6 months to 12 months and you still getting money to them. Ask about their situation. Carmen said, we started off both single, but two years since. He has reunited with his ex-wife, yet to be remarried. So I told him to tell me about, tell her about me. He acts scared, so I called him a cowardly lion. He a Virgo rising. That don't mean he's a cowardly lion. Oh, well, the pride. So the relationship has turned into, I see or sex him when I want to. And that's far-fetched. And in between, I haven't seen him since early July. But I'm not looking for a relationship. Just a little fun. The little fun is also a division of relationships. Love. If you're just looking at somebody and you say it's only sexual. That's the little relationship. It's not deep. It's a shadow relationship. And it's fun. 
Some of them can be fun. Some of them can be fun and shallow. That's all you're looking for. And so Mercedes said her exes would probably tell you that she's cold as MF. Well, what did you do to make your partners think that you were cold? Why didn't you why didn't you and your partners break up and they would have good things to say about you? Because you wanted them to think that you were cold when you left. Y'all doing the most. Doing the most. Don't know. Doing the most. Don't don't do the most. The most is not good for you. The most is not good for you. Being honest is good for you. Relationships equals relating. That's it. Harmony. Ma'at. Talking it out. Libra. Keeping my emotions to myself. I blame my 12th house moon. Oh, and you can't blame any planets. Oh, that's a cop-out. I don't allow astrological cop-outs. Nah. You the sucker if you're blaming your chart. Who's in the center of your chart? This goes for everybody who knows astrology. You ever study with me and got a chart reading? Who's in the center of your chart? Your planets are not responsible. They just do what they do. But they're not responsible. Yeah. Who, who is responsible in the chart? Who's at the middle of the chart? Anybody can answer. Huh? Last two, pe last five people, Coach. I've only had two serious relationships that count. How old are you, Tiffany? No, 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 no. Last five relationships. I'm talking about people you slept with, people you was in a serious relationship with. I want the casual ones. Yeah, every last five, last five. I want the last five. Look at everybody gave the answer. Me. All these people know who at the center. So if you know you in the center, what you blaming the moon in your 12th house for? You got jokes? We don't joke about astrology like that. Nope. We ain't joking about astrology like that tonight. You 47, you only had two serious relationships? That's a problem. Were you married twice and divorced twice? How many times you been married? Yeah, how many times you been married? You been in two serious relationships in 47 years? I'm 48, I've probably been in 10 serious relationships. I don't know about 10. At least five or six though, I'm sure. You can't be in your 40s and only had two serious relationships. You need to be out there more getting in more serious relationships. No, you, or you need to be in class. You know why you ain't having two serious relationships? Because you don't know how to relate. Two that count? They all count. They all made you who they are. Tiffany fronting, y'all. She been married one time and she said only two relationships counted, but she 47. They all counted. They all count. The ones that hurt your feelings, they count it. The ones that still want you back, they count it. The ones you hurt their feelings, they count. The ones that you want them back, they count. They all count. The one night stands that you had, they count. They all count. What? I say you ain't down with you definitely can't handle open relationships, Tiffany, because you ain't telling you because you ain't telling the truth right now. I ain't even asking for no I, you said I only had two relations that count. That's not. That ain't open. That ain't honest. Tiffany, you want to come on? If Tiffany wants to come on, she can come on. That's my last five will say I'm a good-hearted person who's caring, but they end the relationship and return later want to start again. Meanwhile, I get hurt by they try and while they try to figure things out. Who cares about your body count? We would trill, we would trill alchemy. What does it matter about your? I ain't asking about your body count. Who cares about your body count? But they all count. Your body count is relationships too. Y'all no way. Your morals wasn't in your way when you was dealing with the married man. But now your morals in the way. Talking, about I got a body count. Who cares? 
Why y'all so concerned with what other people think? But you do all this stuff in the dark and all this. I don't know what to say. I think I'm going I'm to go up and get me some chicken wings. That's what I think I'm going to do. I don't know, man. I don't know, like. I just don't get it. I just I just don't get it. The angles know your body count. The angels know your body count and they don't and they don't care either. What up, Victor? Queen Mecca's in the building. Open relationships. This is why y'all have such jacked up. I'm asking everybody the question. What would your last five relationships say about you? If the next person that you were interested in. Or are you open to letting the next person you're interested in. Or the person you're talking to now. Talk to the last five people that you related with. On any level. Man, my last five are cool. I still talk to them. To include my ex-wife and the, and the one ex-girlfriend since my divorce. There you go, Sean. There you go. DJ Shorty Go Hard is in the building. Hey, baby. That's some inside stuff that me and somebody got going on on the thread. That's it. Don't worry about that. Some of y'all saying yes. Even if you wasn't cool with them. Even if you still not talking to them. What about the one of y'all who's saying no? What are you doing wrong? Not wrong. I don't want to say wrong. What could you be doing better? I just want people to be honest in relationships. I want, if you're dealing with somebody that's married, man, check yourself. You don't, you ain't getting no kind of good karma out of dealing with a married man, though. I don't give a damn... Unless he brought you right into the relationship, if it's a secret, married woman for that for that matter either. No, 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 no. Just wait till they get free. You can't take, ain't nobody else out there for you to grab on to. The will say I healed him and helped him. Oh, they will say it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, but do you ask, would you ask, I want everybody tonight to be like, can I talk to my last five? Can I talk to your last five? Who's your last five? Who's your last five? Who's your last five? Can I talk to your last five? And this, like a lot of y'all think adding more people to your issues is, is the answer. That's not the answer. That's more drama. Ebony says she she says she's friends with everybody, even on, whether on Facebook or real life. I see a lot of y'all bold on here, but I see a lot of women who probably don't want to watch this live. They want to watch it later. They want to watch it later. They don't want to be on here live and, and let nobody know they was watching this video. You a married woman? I'm sorry, you a single woman? Dealing with a married dude with no benefits. That's why I turn my I turn my seat sideways so I can just look at you side eye. I, 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 you don't deserve me to be looking at you straight in the camera, side eye. If you open and you're honest, raise your hand. If you open and you're honest, raise your hand. If you open and you're honest and you're ready to show it. If you open and you're honest, raise your hand. See, that's what you need to get into. I don't really, because I want to find out how crazy she is off the gate. Because then she tell me, yo, I'm only going to be with you. You only going to be with me. I ain't with that. Then it's all peace. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no going back and forth. I'm finding that some women can accept the honesty of openly dating several and having sex with one or more women at the same time. I am upfront and honest. Some women can accept the honesty. Right. But 
You know who can't you know who can't accept the honesty? Women who already lie. If you was really, really honest and somebody told you something really, really honest, you'd accept it. But if you lie, they ain't gonna accept it because they ain't used to accepting it. They ain't used to telling the truth like that. Your radical honesty scares them. Keep being radically honest. No third party relationship. That 12 minutes was in the past. Learn the lesson. Here we go again, blaming planets again. I'm not playing that game with you out here tonight, y'all. When we do discuss relationship language, it's not so you can blame it later. My Venus is in Gemini in the 10th. When something go wrong, I'm not going to blame that. Something go wrong with my pride and I get over the top and I ain't humble enough, I ain't going to blame Leo on the 12th. It's all me. Stop blaming the planets. So that means it's okay if she sleeps with other men too. I knew somebody was going to ask that. Uh, Sandy came in late. Whose vagina is it? Is my answer to that question. I think that's also a real stupid uh, ideology that men have out here. I can be with more than one woman, but you can only be with me. That's a woman's choice. Some women are cool with that. Some women are like, I'll share my man with maybe one or two other women, but I don't want to be with other men. That's and and that's. That's how they and that's how they are. They that's mature. But some women uh want to be with a man, have him down as that dude, but she still want to have sex with other men. That's okay. Now I said this earlier, I was talking to Ty Phoenix. And um I've been doing open and studying open and participating in that lifestyle for a long time um, but I tend to when I really get into a relationship and I say yo I'm open I see other people you're not the only person I'm seeing and then I start spending a lot of time with that person and the conversation is good the intellect is good the spirit is good the sex is good I lose interest in others because I'm happy at what I'm doing but I ain't going to just try to turn off my device for like smiling at other women or being smiled at. I'm going to be less sexy because I'm in this relationship. You stupid. Nope. I just be over here chilling. Because I'm going to do what makes me happy. And you should too. And you want exclusivity for what, Renee? I want, can, who, who want to come on the camera tonight? I really want to ask some people why they want to why do you want exclusivity? For what? Other person ain't built like that. You still want exclusivity? But why? Is it in your chart? Or are you afraid of getting a disease? Are you afraid of him sleeping with a woman who's nasty? You gonna let your fears control your stuff? I attract honest women. I got a long line of honest women who rock with me. I ain't having sex with them all because I can't. I ain't got the time and the energy. There's some I would like to, though. Woo-wee. But the opportunity don't present itself. That's okay. Be satisfied with the sex I'm already having. Be, I'm going to be present. Some of y'all ain't present with the sex you having already. You ain't present. I'm not interested in having sex with other men. When I'm in a sexual relationship with one, but I always have options, and they are and they are no secrets. Ooh. Less drama for what? Renee, if there's drama around, that's because you like drama. Drama is internal, just like bliss. Bliss and drama come from the inside. Bliss and drama is not a result of a relationship. Bliss and drama is a result of who you really are. The drama comes from lack of communication with yourself. The lack of being honest with yourself. There ain't going to be no drama. If I don't have drama because I'm honest. And when, even when I find I have to tell a hard truth. 
Because I might really be feeling this person. They be like, yo, I'm going to tell the truth. Because I ain't going to be sitting around here going back and forth like, oh, well, uh, I need to say this to keep her. No, 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 no. So Sandy's late, everyone. So she says all men. So Sandy hasn't seen my video of the three type of men. So there's three types of men, Sandy. Can y'all tell who the three type of men are and the percentages? Who knows the three type of men and the percentages and help Sandy out? Now, Amos says, I don't feel like having sex with another person means that you still don't love your partner. <gasps> Naima, you're getting the crown tonight. Boom. Boom. Yes, Naima. Uh, let me hit the like on that. Let me hit the love on that button right there. How is it that I don't love somebody because I had sex with somebody else? You can't find loyalty, then you ain't got loyalty among in yourself. Are you loyal to you? Go crazy keeping the lies in. Talk to him, Ebony. What's the three type of men? I thought exclusivity was what I wanted because that's what I was taught, brought up to do. But that's not in my true nature. That doesn't mean I'm um, all out here either. But I have to be honest with myself first and foremost. Otherwise, I suffer. I'm staying away from that wall. Woo, another crown. Let's give out another crown. Let's give out another crown for the lunar goddess. 90% court gestures. 7% princes and 3% kings. You see that, Sandy? You came in late to class. That's the numbers. 90% of men are court jesters. They'll fool you. They don't have nothing. They get you pregnant and keep it moving. You thought that you had something and you had nothing. Right. Then 7% are princes. They have the royal bloodline. Got good credit. Well educated. But lack responsibility. Don't want to build on no future dynasty. They'll get you pregnant and walk off and leave you too. Then there's 3% kings. We ain't with no foolishness. Blondell, what up? I was thinking about you the other day, Blondell. I got to call you and catch up with you. Yes, I promise you. Oh, Will Smith is in the building. Rob Bay, where you been? Soccer practice? You met the 3% too, um, Sandy. But maybe you didn't deserve them at that time. You get what you deserve and you deserve what you get. He shouts out to Trill Alchemy. Just fell up in this piece. And she come on in and tell him what she going to say. But those are the numbers. All men are not created equal. That's just like saying all women are created equal. No. 90% court justice, 7% princes, and 3% kings. Once you realize the math, then you it's easier for you to solve the equation. Blondell, man, there's a lot going on. I was thinking about you telling me riding down, riding down through Texas, opening up, opening up the highway so you can run 100 miles an hour. I'm be in Dallas in October, too. So I need to. Uh, you are you in Dallas or you in Houston? I definitely got to get up with you. So don't say all men cheat. Do the women that they cheat on deserve being cheated on? Do the men who get supposedly cheated on deserve getting cheated on? What's cheating? Here we go again with the morals. Here we go again with the morals. Somebody ask Rob Bay to come on here, please. Are you in Austin? So she can talk about how you quit shaming over body counts. Get all this sexual shame. There's karma in things that you do. I'm not promoting. You did deserve, did, what you mean? You, you don't own a person. So why did you think that you owned the person? You thought that you owned the person's penis? I asked you whose vagina it was, and you was like, it's mine. So how did his penis become yours? Because he put it inside of you? When he retracted it, it was attached to his body. Where? How the whole cheating... You do deserve what you get. When you get a bonus at work, then you deserve it. When your check is short, you deserve it. And... Magic is working every damn where. Noriko, what up? Rob Bay might have just popped her head in. She might have had to go do some 
some activities or something. Yeah, but if you experience the shame, you know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of shame are you experiencing? So many, so many of all this stuff is jacked up because jokers is not dealing with their own inner selves. You ain't dealing with your inner queen, your inner court jester, your inner prince. So you only attracting who you are actually. And you can control it, but jokers don't want to control it. They want to blame. Stop blaming. Start doing. Stop blaming. Oh, I didn't deserve that. Well, why did it happen then? So that means there was a mistake in the universe. Who ever seen a mistake in the universe? I can't even put my hand up. My other hand is like, we, it ain't even funny. Get your hand down. Ain't no mistakes in the universe. Most of y'all say I didn't deserve something. People are attracted to nothing like me. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You are multifaceted. You are multifaceted and most of yourself is hidden from yourself. You don't even fully know yourself. You don't got to believe it. A lot of people don't believe astrology. They, so guess what? They go around blind. That's okay. They say it's subjective. It's all math. Victor said, keep keeping it real. I'm do my best, brother. What do you mean? Not me. Ebony, talk to him. We attract what we need to grow. No mistakes from the universe. How are you so special where you don't deserve to experience no growth pains? Well, y'all better, y'all better grow up. I know, but as you grow into astrology, it'll move from belief to knowing. So the things that you say you don't believe about yourself right now are probably your largest blind spots. You self-imposed it. Don't worry. When you get your chart read and you start seeing who you really are, boy, it'll start all making sense. Hopefully. Maybe not. But Keisha Riley. I believe it's still learning, but I don't see myself having open relationships. So you're going to lie. We just got finished saying that open relationship. Open means honest. So you're not going to be honest in relationships, Renee? Open relationship doesn't mean multiple partners. Open relationship means being honest. So you're not going to be honest in a relationship. How many of y'all are not going to be in an open relationship? Press three. Press three. I'm not going to do open relationships. I'm not going to tell the truth. I'm not going to be radically honest. I'm not doing... I'm not doing open. I'm not going to be open. I'm not going to let my I'm not going to let my partner see my heart. I'm going to be closed. I'm going to be deceptive. I'm going to be conniving and tricky until I see something and then I don't have to. Okay, well then keep starting off like that then. It can be today karma. It can be today karma. You talking about so all this can be past karma. Not can, it all is your karma. The blessings and the pain is all your karma. It's all your karma. Love hearing the perspective of a God. I appreciate that. Thank you. If the relationship ended, you may have just been done holding the mirror. Move on to holding it for the next level. I need you to do my chart. I'll get there soon. Come on. We are masters of our destiny and architects of our soul. If you just looked at that little, 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 little piece that the brother just shared with you, if you knew his background, he's not coming at you from his opinion. He's coming from deep within inside the temple. We, people shouldn't even be able to be in relationships to me. Sometimes now, old, old as I am, if you ain't done some type of esoteric work first to understand the esoterics of relationships, but that's what I'm saying. Why can't you change your mind? I done said it four times. Open means honest. And you still have it programmed that open means something. That open means you, your feelings getting hurt. You don't have open meaning poly. You have open meanings drama. You, you, you have open being defined as my feelings are going to get hurt. You have open uh, associated with pain and disagreeable things. You don't have open associated with anything positive. 
That's why you're against it. The body doesn't like being for. When you tag something like that, that's you put the definition on it. We love to speak on how men lie to us but can't even be honest with ourselves on a daily basis. We break promises to ourselves. That's a woman just said that. Kandaka just said that. We love to speak on how men lie to us but can't even be honest to ourselves. You know how many women have lied to men about this your baby? Ain't never been a man lied to a woman and said this your baby. What you gonna talk about men cheat? How about how many men, how many women operate out of security? Get into old nasty, ugly relationship. Catch a catch a dude with a baby. All relationship is work and come with challenges. Open communication is the only way to be. Listen to Crystal Queen up in there. Look at Red. I don't want to be in no more relationships. Too painful, I'll pass. What planet you going to be on? you always in a relationship. What you avoid is seeking you. Yeah, y'all came late to class. We already said open means honest. I'm in an open relationship with my husband and neither one of us have other partners. We are radically honest with each other. No secrets is the closest bond I've ever had with a man. Naima, hold that. Hold that. Not, I'm listening to see if it was raining because I still got to go work out. Woo! You hear what Naima said? She's in an open relationship with her husband and neither one of us have other partners. We are radically honest with each other. No secrets, closest bond I've ever had with a man. How is it working for Naima and it ain't working for nobody else? Naima's psychic. If Martin was out here trying to do something, she'll be on it. Relationships are no more than connections that we have with others daily. Sean, I'm going to bring you on here. Man, you got to talk. A lot of lies. I'm so grateful that Kaya was able to rectify my chart. So I know my correct rising sign. And I have, I have seen the planets in their right houses that I am learning so much about me and I love me for the first time in my life and I'm 64 thank you Kair anybody who does not get a reading from him is a fool and a coward good gracious a coward Lori is tough she's old school Lori old school she don't look 64 either we went out to lunch in Chinatown Lori got it going on she ain't playing no games out here but Whoa. You don't lie to my man. So you just attract so you attract liars just for no reason. You're the just exception. But what do you lie to yourself though? I believe we manifest or attract our mirror image, but I am studying hard to change that by changing my thoughts and being conscious of my reflections. I need to know his Venus because I know mine. Yes, honey. You better. But I told you it ain't just a Venus. Y'all know, y'all want me to just give up the whole formula and y'all ain't took the class. Forget about it. Forget about it. There's certain aspects that y'all have to look at. It ain't just Venus. Venus is where we start. Then, like I said, Mercury. Then we got to look at, um, we got to look at Saturn. We're we'll going to look at Jupiter. We're we'll look, And we're going to look at aspects. You know how I look at aspects? Nah. Coming with bad attachments. Deja Valentine, what up? True self-love is first. <laughs> You're in a relationship with the mailman. I tried, I'm open. He chose not to be. That's why he's a cowardly lion. Oh, some cowardly lions out here. Hey, listen, a good court gesture will catch somebody like Carmen. But only for a little bit, then you throw him back in the water. I was agreeing with you about some people come with a lot of lies. Okay, okay, okay. They do. How many how many aspects are there? There's a lot of there's a lot of aspects. Now I said I'm finna go over to Instagram and have this conversation with my folks. Coachcastrology.info if you want to get a relationship strategy consultation. You also can scroll all the way down to the bottom and get the course. Keep a simple astrology course. Teach it to your children. You don't have to worry about it. We can, we can get rid of the word cheating once and for all. 
We get, it, it's cheating not to know your chart. That's you 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 cheated on somebody by knowing not knowing your chart. Let me see. The last the last four serious relationships I've been in sexually, they know their chart. Oh well, you was dating an astrologer. They was they was having sex with an astrologer. And what? I'm making them better for their next relationship. I need them to know and be able to check on themselves so they can check their own stuff. Right. Open relationship. Open means honest. Progressive love I support. But if the integrity goes out the window, so do I. I ain't about that, I ain't about that non-integrity life. What up, Mama Sumner? Yeah. That's my mama in law from one that got away. I let one, I let, I let a couple good ones get away. Yeah. It's all good. You know, sometimes, old fellas, you got to let a woman get away. And then she, she, she said she wouldn't be into man sharing. And then she got over there with a dude and he cheated on her. And she found out she was sharing anyway. Or five nights out of the week. Or whatever. All this ownership. We got to reprogram, yo. It's a lot of reprogramming. Trines, conjunctions, squares, sextiles, oppositions. Go, Renee. Hey. So if you know all the conjunctions, Renee, and you know their relationship language, how can there be drama? Look at my forehead. I'm like, how can there be drama if, if you got all this knowledge of the astrolo astrological chart? How 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 is there how what where is the where is it open for drama to come in at? Where's Sean at? Let me go get Sean. Sean said he wanna come in, talk to me for a second. Sean, where you at? Sean said I belong to the universe. Sean, you ain't on your phone. You got to be on your phone for me to bring you on. Can't, if you're on the computer, you, I can't bring you on. Yeah. There's too much. I'm done with relationships. I'll talk to you later, Mr. Kyer. Okay, sweetheart. How she going to talk to me later if she's done with relationships? You ain't done with relationships. You're going to be talking to me later. You ain't done. <laughs> you ain't done. Me shutting up ain't going to stop the truth. What you talking about? Peace, peace. What up, Lord? What's good, brother? How are you? Blessed by the best. I'm glad it's a man with some courage <laughs> who uh, who, uh, who want to come up here and, and tell his story. Yes, sir. Hey, I just want to say I've been learning a lot from you in the last couple months, man, and I appreciate the knowledge you've given us, man. I appreciate it. Big time. Well, I want you... I'm trying to challenge people to apply it. Yes, I'm either you're either going to digest it or it's going to spoil in your refrigerator. True, you know True. what I'm saying. So I'm trying for guys to get healthy. So obviously you somebody who at least is attempting to apply it, and it looks the way you're smiling like you're having some success. You, you know what? Um, if you don't apply something, then you'll never learn from it. So I've been applying it here and there, trying to find out how it works for me, and I'm seeing it. I'm seeing uh, results. And I even had, hadn't even had a chart, chart reading from you yet. I had one of my exes read my chart, and it was amazing. It was eye-opening, and I appreciate that. But you gave me some nuggets that I wanted to find out, so that's why I thank you. Okay, okay. So what do you think about this topic tonight we're talking about with women – dealing with married men and open relationships what are your thoughts on what you've heard tonight what's your feedback um, well i didn't ca i didn't catch the married men part being uh being a former married man you know that was that was something i wish i would have known um and I'm, i'll watch the rest of it later but the whole thing about being with other people and open relationships is we're not honest enough with ourselves to be able to handle it and the more i've looked at it the more i've realized that i don't necessarily i, I can't lock anybody down because they don't belong to me 
And like I said, when I say I belong to the universe, it's something I just came into the knowledge of. I don't belong to no woman, no man, no, no being other than the universe. And that being said, I would not try to lock anybody down your mind. Uh, my father taught me some years ago. He said that if your mama went out and cheated on me, that's her business. There's nothing I could have done to stop her. There's nothing I could have done to encourage it because that's her business to do. And once I got that message, once I learned that lesson, I was good. <laughs> I was good. So did your so you mean your so your father didn't feel that your mother loved him less if she went out and did something like no. that? No, and I I know I was I was like in my early twenties when I learned that when he told me that and I was going through something with a young lady I was with I was all boo hooey over everything and she was she was with everybody and in my young immaturity I used to say oh she a hoe she doing this and now at forty two I realized that she was just doing what was in her best interest and I don't look at. What my father said is my mother loved him any less. I look at his, he understood what love was. And if she did it, that's what she was going to do. And there's nothing we could change. We can't change that about people. So. So you came down through some evolved parents. Yeah, yeah. You sound like you came down through some evolved parents. Yes, sir. So how do you feel about, now some women are on here saying, Sean and Kaya are one-sided. They want multiple women, but the women can't be with nobody else. Yeah. What do you feel about what do you feel about a guy who says that I can be with other women, but you can't be with no other men? What what are your feelings about then that? Then he's lying to himself. Again, you know, I think we take that uh position of I'm the man, I can do X, Y, Z. Nah, we're we're creatures, we're creatures like everybody else. And I don't look at a lot of things with gender bias. I think that I tell a lot of women, a lot of friends of mine that you should you can do anything I can do outside of get a woman pregnant. I can't carry a baby and you can't uh, fertilize a seed, but there's no reason for people to think that, oh, I'm a woman and I have to be this way or a man is this. No, we're all beings and we're all looking for love. We're all looking for companionship. And honestly, bro, what I've learned from you in these past few weeks is, man, it's a few months, it's really been helpful, man. It's helped me to look at things from a different perspective, not, um, not one of self-doubt, but of acceptance, not just tolerating, but accepting the fact that we're all different and we all have different needs. And if we look at it like that, we won't be caught up in this dumb shit like we do. Self-imposed too. Self-imposed dumb yes, shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not like, it's not like we like self-imposed is out here like hunting us down. Restrictions is hunting us down. It's like we go on looking for restrictions to be like, I need to put these restrictions on because then somebody will respect me more because I got these restrictions true, on. Very true. Um, I think once people take the blinders and the restrictors off, you're free. You, you are actually free. And being able to see myself in this chart, being able to see how I operate within the universe with other beings, it's freed me. It's freed me, bro. It's freed me big time. Do so. So, how do you relate differently now than you used to relate? Like you said, you used to get like boohooed up and used to call her a hoe, which I say is heaven on earth. <laughs> she just had that snapper. That's all. You know what I'm saying? We was going through that. But now, how do you feel that you relate differently? That's better for you now. What's your What's your relationship patterns? that you like to relate uh, uh, relate now? Just with understanding versus, you know, my uh, preconceived thoughts, my experience, because my experience ain't everybody else's. So I just look at it with an openness to understand them better. Um, being a cancer, understanding that my ascending is Aries, I'm sorry, uh, Pisces, and knowing where my Venus is and all that stuff now, I look at things different. What I was taught of being an emotional, uh, moody cancer, I've seen myself in that. I've seen myself as being... Uh, manipulative as being crafty and all that other stuff but now I'm learning how to operate with other people through that not to I can't change anything about myself unless I choose to but I love who I am and I love who I am with other people and choosing to understand myself better is helping me to understand others mm, mm, mm. so are you like currently in a relationship are you looking for a relationship or what you how are you, you know, what you got going on? Like, are you applying this in your everyday? No, I'm applying it in my everyday. I'm not necessarily looking for a relationship, but I'm not running from them either. Um, and understanding that every being I'm in con con uh, connection with is a relationship, that's helped. That's helped tremendously versus, oh, yeah, I want to be with her. I, I could be with all of them if I choose because they're all relationships. And if nurtured properly, they can be great relationships. But I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to say, oh, you're mine. Nah, we're together now. 
where this moment is ours. Let's enjoy that. If you have another moment with another dude or woman, I'm cool with that because you don't belong to me. Sean, they're going to threaten you and say you don't love me because you out here with all these other chicks. I, I, how, how you going to respond to that when she says you don't love me if you're with other women? How could you love me? How you going to respond to that? Uh, baby, you don't know what love is and you don't love yourself. Because <laughs> I, th I think that, again, all that we've learned, I've, I've got a, something I recently bought and it said we must unlearn. We, we, got, we have to. Um, what my pastor taught a series about dating when I was married. And my wife, at the, my wife and I at that time were so excited to hear about it that once I got divorced, I was looking forward to being able to apply that. Not that I wanted to be divorced, but once I, once I heard that information, I wanted to use it because we look at dating with these glasses that say when you're dating just for the purpose of being together, for you marrying that person. But nah, man, dating is an experience. I go on dates with my dad. We go to fights. We go to games. That's a date. It, we're not fucking, but it's a date, you know what I'm saying? So um, to look at it like that has helped me to be free, to say, okay, I've dated, I've actually posted on Facebook some months ago that I was dating three different women. I was only having sex with one though, and they all knew about each other. And as soon as I posted it, there was an uproar. Oh, how could you? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. No, that's not, I love myself enough to know that I'm not going to put myself in a position where I've pigeonholed me because I want to be free and I want the person I'm with to be free. You, you, you was dating three, having sex with one. They all knew each other and you didn't have no slash ties. No, no, they didn't know each other, but they knew about each other. But yeah, yeah. And it was cool. It was, it was like you said, harmony. It was harmonious. It wasn't a balance. It was harmonious. And again, it's, it's about us. We have to make the choice to say, I want this and I'm going to approach it this way and I'm going to be open and honest. Being open, like you said, is honesty and people don't see it that way. They do see it as multiple partners and I'm banging everybody. Nah, that ain't the truth. Sean, these ladies on here talking about they love you. What's, I, I see a lot of we love Sean's on here, uh, <laughs> pimp, pimping. You know what I'm saying? They, they First time, he, is it the red hat ladies or what's going on? Y'all over here talking about, I love Sean. Love yourselves. Hey, love hey. yourselves. Love yourselves. For real. What do you think? What do you think makes you lovable like that? Um, Cause that's really what is important is, I really want to be lovable. Yeah. I don't want to be owned, but I want to make sure I work on being lovable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for me, I feel that if I'm lovable, and a woman holds her love back from me, then she's cheating herself out of the experience of what could happen in, yeah. in letting love flow between the two of us. So yeah. what is it that you, uh, that you do that makes you lovable? I love myself. Um, I teach, um, I work with special needs students and I also teach poetry in Birmingham city schools. I had been the last couple of years. And one of the things, the mantra I give the students is to learn to love themselves. My ex who um, read me, gave me my chart three weeks ago, she told me years ago, she said, dude, you don't love yourself. She was the last person I dated before I got married. We're still friends. We still tight. And when she told me that, I recognized I didn't love myself. So for the last 10 plus years, I worked on loving me. I hated myself. I'm a former drug addict. Um, I've been I've done all, I've done more damage to me than any other person has. But I learned to love myself through that. And loving myself has made all the difference. So while I appreciate somebody saying they love me. I love me. You ain't got, you ain't got to love me. I love me enough. I love me enough to give myself the best to do that, too. So Sean said, I'm selfless. somebody said selfless. You have to be selfless. You have to be. I can't, I can't love myself if I'm willing to put somebody else in a box because we're all one. We're all connected. Would you, if moving forward, if you were to get married, would you, uh, no, my fault. <laughs> what would you tell a woman? I'm gonna just erase that. Let me start. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some good co-coaching out here. Let me. So I got. So we have a man here who loves himself. He's lovable. You know what I'm saying? So we want to ask. No, it's not. Y'all stop asking where Sean at. Sean ain't his den. He, he's sitting on the couch. That's I'm where chilling. Sean I'm is in at. my piece. He on the video with me. I'm in my piece. <laughs> yeah, talking about where Sean at. He ain't where you. Ladies, hold it. Y'all gonna have to get in the DM. Shoot your shot in his in, in his cash app. Okay, yes. that's what y'all be telling yes. us. 
But what would you tell a what would you tell a woman who was dating a man who was married, who didn't tell his wife about her, who was being emotionally unavailable, but only there for sex, and um, she was like unsure of herself you know, and where she stood in that relationship. What would you tell that woman? Honestly, there's nothing I can tell her. Um, she already knows. I think that I think that most of us, well, I think that some of us already know where we stand. I would tell that person, hey, do what's in your best interest. But if you're being abused, if you're not being having your needs met, then you're playing yourself because they can't keep you there. We put we leave, we put ourselves in these situations and we keep ourselves in them. I was married for seven years. The first four were great. The last three weren't so great, but I kept myself in it. She kept saying, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy. And she was right. And finally, one day, two weeks after my 40th birthday, I said, you know what? I want to be happy. And she accepted that. And it was fine. And we're cool to this day. But I kept myself in there. Everybody kept saying, dude, you need it. You need it. You need it. It wasn't until I saw it for myself that I said, look, dude. You're not going to be happy staying here fighting this battle. But I wish I could tell somebody, hey, here's what's good for you. But if we don't know it ourselves, then we don't know it. Uh, this dude is awesome. I love you too, Sean. This dude right love here. You, this, hey. Love you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I I, I, I need some more. We're going to have to clone some of that damn hair of yours out your beard. Yeah. We need just a few more. We need a few more clones. You know what I'm saying? Like you, put you up for me, ladies. Now y'all looking at what kings look like. So I don't want to hear that ratio is too small. It's just that you have to step up when you're dealing with a man like this because you're gonna have to deal with loving yourself first, which a lot of women don't. See the value in yourself, which a lot of people yes, don't. And then you're gonna have to come correct because you've been using honesty and deception as a tool but now when you run up on a cat like this who's full of love he's going to repel you he's going to repel you not because he don't love you but because his nature he's only his his aura is only going to let honesty self-respect self-love happiness juicy yoni that's all he's going to let get through to him he ain't going he ain't going to just let any old thing do like Give you a shot. Let me just give you a shot. Why? You ain't got Ain't no more shots, yo. I ain't I ain't got no more shots for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. I ain't got no more shots. Yeah. I love it when they come. Unfortunately, I hear it in the streets, but they never come say, well, Coach, what you bringing to the table? I wish you would. I'm bringing the forest to the table. I'm bringing Man. the forest, the axe, the glue, yep. the damn nuts and bolts, the solar panels. What you talking the about? The stain. <laughs> All of it. The stain, the nails, the hammer. The lack. What you talking about? You know, and then and then shellac, right. And then you say, what you bring? And they say, well, I was only bluffing. I love it when I hear somebody say, so I was only playing. Mm -hmm. What you playing for? Ain't no ain't no reason to play. Ain't no reason to play. Just be honest. We honest honest people are awesome people. And I can't rock with you if you ain't honest. Whether I don't, you can't, you said something earlier about people keep bringing morals into it, and that's one I'm learning. One of those things I'm having to unlearn. What is moral? What's amoral for somebody else? And so looking at it that way, it's just things that I've again we were taught, we were given the voodoo, and it's like I gotta unlearn this, man. We have to unlearn it. We have to. We have to. So you know, so you know my phrase now. Hopefully, you have my phrase memorized by now. Which one? Sometimes you have to temporarily suspend your morality in order to grow spiritually. Wow. Sometimes, it's not always, you have mm -hmm. to temporarily, which means sometimes again, uh, sometimes you have to temporarily, um, what, I, what was the word I just said? I temporarily don't suspend your morality. Sometimes you have to tempor temporarily suspend. Mm -hmm. Suspend doesn't mean terminate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because your morality you got from the church, you got from other hurt people, hurt, hurt people, people, hurt people. True. So so where can I get this um 
this freedom that you're looking for, the key you got like dangling up like right on your mustache or something that you just got to be like, yo, morality, stop getting me jammed up, worrying about what other people think, how I look like to other people, whatever. And let me suspend that so I can grow. Because a lot of times you get in a relationship and think that's your purpose. No, your purpose is to grow spiritually. Look at Sean, how happy he is. This, 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 this dude right here is growing. He ain't got but one thing on his mind, growth. You want to get around him? It's a growth party. You want to come over there stunting? I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know him at all, and I know for a fact he ain't going for that. He ain't going for that. He like his happiness. <laughs> so sometimes suspend your morality, yo, so you can so you can grow spiritually. Then, you know, when you out in the streets and whatever, when that hard decision comes, see if it's morality making the decision or see if it's you, honestly, your heart, your gut. Some of y'all who study in human design, I'm a um I'm a generator. Yeah, emotional? My no, I'm a manifester. So as a manifester, I have to respond with my gut not my mind. My sounds are uh-huh and uh-uh. <laughs> so I ain't supposed to be thinking stuff out. I'm supposed to feel it in the gut and talk to you like a caveman. Be mm -hmm. like, uh-huh, uh-uh. <laughs> and so you can, be, you can be immune then to a lot of the arguments that you could be into like any other time because then because women are talkers and you can't win with them when they're trying to talk you to death. Mm -hmm. You can't win. So what you got to do is you got to know how to make the sounds from your primal self. <laughs> your primal self yeah. only oh, <laughs> it's it, it only got honesty. Are you hungry? Uh huh. <laughs> are you uh, are you hungry? <laughs> uh huh. That just, that that's the primal. If you can answer questions from that and get your your mind is an observer. Your brain is a catalog. Your brain is a hard drive. You understand? Mm -hmm. But making hard decisions is down here where your power source is at called a Dantian. Okay. Some people don't get it. You get it. I ain't gotta I ain't gotta tell you but once. You already I'm got learning. It, I'm listening. I'm just saying I'm I'm, I'm writing it. Look, I've been yeah. writing it down since you said get a pen. I've been writing it down. So again, I appreciate you, man. Everything that you've done. Um you're 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 you love yourself enough to love others and you're allowing us to grow. And I appreciate that because some so many people are out there, they just want they want victims. They want to be predators. And I see you as an honest person, an honest being, and I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Do you appreciate enough to bless the fans, bless the folks with a poem tonight? If you teach poetry, you might have something on deck. You got to go. Can you go grab something? I know you got something close by. You got something off the dome. Yeah. Anything appropriate for right now? You got some free, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Wait a minute. Y'all going to have to put some hearts up if y'all want Sean to do a piece. <laughs> y'all ain't going to just be out here. Y'all ain't going to just be out here talking sideways. And y'all going to show some appreciation if the brother going to lay some poetry down. I ain't. And this is my first time. I ain't never had nobody. Let no poetry down. Now, if it sucks, if it sucks, y'all DM him. Don't tell him in public. No, tell me right? in public. Don't tell him in tell public. Me in public. <laughs> I will not disappoint. Um, it's called Kiss of Life. Is that cool? Come on. She come suggested on. that I tell him. So I thought about it and I did. It was a cold morning as I struggled to look him in the eye to reassure him of what he thought I felt. So I told him that I loved him. Then I kissed him on the lips. Not fully aware of his response to my actions, nor my reaction to his unresponsiveness when I leaned in to salute this king with the only greeting that he deserved. So I lay aside the outside world and relinquish the most tender, innocent, and honest kiss that I have ever surrendered. You see, what we shared in that brief moment changed us forever, for I have watched him give love wholeheartedly, only to receive half-hearted affection and minimal attention, and I wanted to change his fate. Wanted to revitalize the brightness in his eyes from that clouded, milky, opaque. Wanted to return the swagger back to his gate and erase the hardened lines embedded in his face, so I told him that I loved him. Then I kissed him on the lips. Now, for me, things are different. Loving him with whispers and encouragement, we transformed in that instance. Now he knows that I am with him always stride for stride to show that I care. Wherever he needs me to be, I will be there loving him. For he needed me to be unconventional and me being unpredictable. Well, I kissed him on the lips and he didn't move an inch. Not a flinch, 
not a twitch, just a silence that spoke volumes resonating my intent through a kiss unselfish. Never before experiencing what this was, an unfamiliar love between us. I saw a human in need of much, not just a face full of fuzz. So yeah, I kissed him but not for fleshly satisfaction or for practice. This was not based on an attraction, nor was it something that just happened. It just so happens that his needs superseded what I thought people would think of me and how you might view we. Mm. You see, even as I speak, I draw strength from that cold morning, knowing he would be there when I awoke. We met in our secret place. I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, and then I looked at my own reflection. I told myself I loved me and I would help us succeed no matter what. And then I grabbed my mirror and I kissed myself on the lips. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm a connoisseur of them bars and that rhyme pattern. That right there, because I was going to be like, how the hell did he, I was like, how is he going to pull this off? <laughs> and then he was like, I grabbed that mirror. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes, wow. Loving yourself, man. Okay. Inspired? What what, uh, what inspired that one right there? That conversation I had with my ex, man. She said, "Dude, you don't love yourself." And that I'm telling you, 10, 10 plus years ago, I wrote that poem, and that's the poem that I use when I perform uh, at new places. The first time I did it was at a slam in Atlanta, and it was at a it was at the Urban Grind, and it was it was full of people, young young brothers and sisters. I had just been I had just been married maybe a year at that time, and it was a table of brothers. And when I started the poem, yes, yes, it was a table of women in the front like, oh, my God. And when I got done with the poem, everybody understood. So being able to love myself was freeing. It was the freedom that I needed. And that's the freedom I want others to have. Won't you at the pool party? Won't we playing Spades again at the pool party at mm -hmm. Twin Spirits Joint? No, sir. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Man, you got a twin out here who look like you, got the frost, and do poetry. Word. That uh, was me. <laughs> yes, yes. I, and, and and he from like Alabama. He yeah, he, yeah. He from he, he, he from Birmingham or someplace. I'm from yeah. Birmingham. Uh, no, nah. it's 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 him and a brother. Uh -huh. It's him and a brother, and he does poetry. He just graduated, I think, with his PhD or something in I don't know counseling or something. Michael like Harry was playing spades. Was it Michael Harriet? I don't know. He's a good brother. Could be. Right for the root. Good dude. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Well, yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Brother, I oh, thank you. am humbled thank you. that you came on here. You, I apologize for taking so long to get your ass no, on here. You're going to have to come It was the back. right time. Brother, it was the right time. Timing. All, all in God's time. I understand. I understand. You got a website or something? How can these people support Sean you? SeanJudah.com. S-H-A-U-N-J-U-D-A-H.com. Social media, all that. Sean if Judah, yo, Instagram, Tumblr, here, there, everywhere. So it's out there. You got like an album or something over there? Or like some, I something do, they can um, pay I for? Do. I just released a project um, called Prima Vox Audit. means first voice heard. Um, you can get it on Bandcamp. Um, I have it for sale on there. If you have streaming sites, it's on almost all major streaming sites. But um, I would appreciate if y'all go to Bandcamp. It's only like ten dollars. Ten dollars. Go get that. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Ladies, ladies, <laughs> ladies. Y'all can spend over a trillion dollars in the hair industry. You can break ten dollars <laughs> off and go get that poem right. That poetry. Hey, my mama is here. Hey, mama. <laughs> Your mama's yeah, in Leonette here. Lavelle, mama in here. Yeah, mama. Mama, what's up, mama? Ma mama's cool. Mama, you pushed a good one out. Ma mama's she, she a cool lady, bro. She she a cool lady. Thank y'all for post SeanJudah.com. That's me. That's me. So, absolutely, Sean. Your astrology tip for the night. Got to give you some. You done came in, gave the fan. All right. You are in a Uranus opposition. Okay. Go study that. All this week. Okay. Uranus opposition. Uranus. It's all you got to write down. That's all okay. you got to write. And trust me, when I come back, I'll see you again. You're going to say, bruh. <laughs> I'm going to be like. Yes, sir. <laughs> already, went through mine, already went through mine already. Okay. You're in a Uranus opposition. Take your time. The whole theory, the Kaya theory for Uranus opposition is 
when you press, you go to the beach and press your hand down on the beach on the sand, uh -huh. and then when you pick it up, whatever sand is sticking to your hand is all you need for these next forty-two years. Word. Word. Uranus opposition. Word. Uranus opposition. Just Google, watch YouTube videos, see what black folks is writing about, white folks is writing about. Uranus opposition, bro. Word. Cause this is this is where the this is where those three options happen at. Like I want to do a whole class for people forty and over. Like you can't even come through here. If you ain't even like I'm trying to have a super adult yeah. conversation about the changes that happen around your Uranus opposition. You know right. what I'm saying? So people are always talking about you can't talk about it if you ain't lived it. Well, I done already been through there. You going through it? It's probably inciting a lot of the changes that are happening in your life right now. And I ain't even seeing your chart. But if you're 42, you're going through Uranus opposition. You you uh so Uranus is in Aries, so you're born with Uranus in Libra. So you already so you so you're still going through it. So welcome aboard. Welcome Thank aboard. You. Welcome to the club. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate you having me on, brother. Absolutely. I'm a holler. All right, peace, peace. I'm grinning hard because I got, because I love when I, I, I always got respect and honor for brother. He show up and doing what he doing. Then what other way could I not do nothing but grin? If you happy, if you happy, then you should be grinning. You should be smiling. So uh, that was a major experience for me. I appreciate it, Sean. I ain't never had nobody come on here and like really be that open, be that prolific with just where he's at in his studies, being honest, and he's trying things. He's trying things. He's courageous. He's trying things. Boy, there's probably some more folks that came on here you missed at the beginning, but boy, if you just missed the poetry that just went off, too bad. You got to go back and catch it from the beginning. Um, we don't talked about open relationships, what it is and what it ain't. We talked about if you're a woman dealing with a married man, what my thoughts are about that. Um, progressive love. No victims, no villains, villains no cop-outs, no dropouts. Um, no blame, no shame. But Stay on the stay stay on stay on your stay on y'all grind out here, y'all. Stay on y'all grind. Sophia throwing the eyes up like what did I miss? Plenty. Cause we finna check out. <laughs> right. Leonette Lavelle, I gotta send her a friend request, cause that's your mama. She cool as all outdoors. Hey son. Hold on. Pin that comment. Mama said, hey, son, she got a good one. That's right. Well, she can come on there and see some of the, you know what I'm saying, some of her some of her input. Right, that you're in this opposition, baby. Oh, somebody else, so if you 41, 40, 41, 42 years old, you ain't reading about the you're in this opposition? Let's pause. Let's, let's, let's work on that for a second. Don't worry about your Mercury and your Venus and your relationship language and all that right there. Right, don't worry about all that. Don't worry about all that. Get your get your head get your head together. Jasmine is in the building. Super late, but I know you was busy doing some work tonight. Some 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 witchy stuff. Y'all gonna have to come back and catch the beginning. I can't go back over this again. Not for a crowd I already talked to. So I love y'all. If y'all want to talk about relationship language, you want to get some strategies. You want to come talk to coach. You want to talk about this uh, extramarital thing you got going on? How do you break it off or whatever? Holler at me, DM me. We'll hook you up a rate to get you a session together. I don't even have that on my website, but it seems like I do because I need it because I'm getting so many people talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Mama said God did that. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Some of y'all out here in some extramarital uh, situations. Hey. Ain't no judgment, but it's a, it's definitely a better way. But don't be out here whining and complaining about it at the wall of suffering either. If you're going to do that, then let it be the increase. I'm only increasing number of partners for the number of things that is going to go well. I got some people that don't really like that. They they love me. They want me all to themselves. 
if that's you and you've seen this video, you should go back and really watch some things that I said in this because an open relationship is open and honest. Now, I'm in some open relationships with women who want me to themselves. They open and honest about it like I don't want and I can appreciate that. But I'm also not going to be lying and be like, you know what? I can change me so I can be with you. That's this 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 who this who we are. We honest. We got crazy love for one another. And man, it's just a lot. It's just boy, I love this one tonight. This one was good right here. Yes, I'm 35. Let me get ahead on that. Yeah, I mean, if you're 35, you got seven years. You know, five and a half years before that damn jump off. Yes. Okay, I found you in peace. I'm gonna leave you in prayer. I'm gonna go shoot over to Instagram right quick. Holler then before I get my workout on. Maybe. Because I got to get this done. I got things to do in the morning. Anna Bakoa, Gijalaki Minka, Tatia Tezara, Kabel Renat, Amcha Saigvanu, Tahara Nunara, Nagibor, Deshe Yekadeka, Kababa Shamna, Barkam Tara, Markame, Dezika Taker, Tamid Gamma, Kasim Kadosh, Baru Tufka, Nahela Gateka, Akid Gehe, Lamchapanez, or Kreg Katushka Taker, Shavata Nukabel, Ushma, Tazakatanu, Yodea Talamo, Brukshem, Kovo Makuto, Alam Vae. Peace to the family. Don't get sideways in thinking that uh, this is about multiple partners. It's not open relationships. I'm charging up my Bluetooth. I'm going to make me a little snack. Then blonde that man, you're going to holler. Um, open relationships is about being open and honest and transparent with people. Not how many partners you got. Ebony, that prayer right there, definitely, if you can use any of that for what you got going on in your relationships or whatever. I mean, the kitty boy, we've been, we've, been, we've been in this thing for a minute, I'm telling you. Ain't you still in, the, you still in Detroit? I'm going to have to holler at you. I'm trying, I'm doing an event in Detroit, so I know that you want to hear about it. Yeah, Coach Kaya is coming to the D, baby, for sure. All right, fam. One love. I appreciate y'all. Peace.